All right, people, you know what time it is. It's geocaching challenge of the month time. Let's go. It is Joshua with the Geocaching Vlogger, and it is that time of the month. It is now time for the Geocaching Challenge of the Month for the month of September. If you don't know what the Geocaching Challenge of the Month is, every month, Lisa from cache-advance.com puts out a challenge, and I complete that challenge, and then I in turn challenge you to complete that same challenge, and if you do, you can be entered to win some prizes from cash-advance.com. I am in one of my favorite places right now. I am in the woods and I'm excited to hear from Lisa what challenge that I have to do today. So take it away, Lisa from cash-advance.com. Hey, it's Look at Lisa from Cash Advance. And for September 2016, for the Geo Challenge, we'd like to challenge you to hide a geocache. Could be any size, regular, preferred, regular, or even a small one. Or we can go all the way down to a nano. Oh goodness. Just, just get out there and get one hidden and be sure to label your geocache well too. Now get to it. All right, Lisa, thank you so much for that challenge. The challenge of the month is to hide a geocache in the month of September. And I love that challenge because right now in the Northern Hemisphere, fall is arriving and fall is my favorite time to go geocaching. And there's nothing better than hiking through the woods and finding a nice big old geocache. So I love these challenges that build the geocaching community. And I know a lot of you have maybe never hidden a geocache before. So I'm gonna hide a geocache. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks how to find the right location, what should you put Put in your geocache and we'll complete this challenge. Now I know people like all kinds of different hides but nothing to me says geocaching like finding an ammo can in the woods. I have this beautiful plastic 30 cal ammo can that I got from Lisa from cash-advance.com. Not only is this a great waterproof container but it's strong and you can fill lots of goodies with it. So before I hide it let me open this beautiful thing up and show you all the goodies that are inside. This is a geocaching unboxing. Some of you guys love that. All right, tip number one for hiding a geocache is put some sweet swag in it. And man, this is stock full of good stuff. Oh, look at a comedy DVD. What else we have? Ooh, this is a can koozie from the Geo Woodstock location. That's cool. Ooh, some rubber ducks. An iPhone 5C case. Well, that's sweet. Ooh, a little tank car. Ah, oh, cute, a little horsey. And this is what it's all about. A nice, all-weather, tough logbook that has write and rain paper. Now, that's what I call a sweet geocache filled with all kinds of awesome goodies. That's what it's all about, people. Bringing good geocaching karma into the world. Now, when you hide a geocache, you gotta make sure you don't hide it too close to another geocache. You must be 0.1 mile away from any other geocaches. And the cool thing is that the app Cachely really helps you to zero in on an area to show where on the map you can hide a cache. You gotta check out what Cachely can do. All right, you look at the map, you can see I am right here. There's a cache here, cache here, cache here, cache here, cache here. Now it looks like that one's the closest cache, so you gotta make sure that one is far enough away. Now see, it's 782 feet, so this is a great place to hide the cache. All right, one of the most crucial things in hiding a cache is location, location, location. And this place is awesome. It's got nice trails. It's got several other caches in here so people can go here and go like, this is a geocaching destination. I'm staying. If you want it kid friendly, keep it pretty close to the trail so there's not too much bushwhacking and make sure that it is well hidden. So there's a cool little Kermit the Frog swamp back here. So it's a beautiful area. There's a tree right here and then there's like some fallen trees over there. So right on the other end of this tree might be a good place to hide the cache. I'm underneath some brambles and I think this is the perfect place to hide my sweet ammo can. And I'll just cover it up with a few leaves and I think it'll be great. All right, there it is, covered up nicely. Let's check it from the other side. That is what it looks like from the trail. Pretty good. 
I think this is an excellent spot. I have it hidden. I'm gonna put the cords in my GPS and I'm gonna submit it to geocaching.com. And yes, mm, geo challenge complete. All right, now I'm issuing the geo challenge to you. Hide a geocache in the month of September. Submit it to geocaching.com. Get that thing published. Here's the thing, to complete the challenge though, you don't have to have it published because I know a lot of you, you're probably hiding geocaches from the first time and you might run into some issues, that's okay. Just get that thing hidden and do your best to get that thing published. Once you do that, send proof to me at geocachingblogger at gmail.com. A picture, you can send a video, and you'll be entered to win a prize at cache-advance.com. Good luck, have fun out there, put out some quality caches. An ammo can, do a gadget cache, get creative with it. All the rules for this Geo Challenge are in the description below as normal. Some of you guys might be wondering, how do you pick the winners? So I pick the winners live on Facebook at the end of the month. So follow my Facebook page, that link will be in the description below and that's how we announce the winners. And obviously you will be notified by email. If this is the first time watching my geocaching videos, click that subscribe box. Just, just go ahead, just do it. Cause you don't wanna miss any of my adventures as we continue to bring joy to the world one geocaching video at a time. Thanks for watching. And no. it's just water. I think that's supposed to hold the door open. What was the hint? It could be inside or out. But it's not open. But the store's not open. So, dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. Ooh. This, then we grab.